Hello guys. I don't even have anywhere to prop you because I have no belongings left. This is my current situation. This is my bed sitch that we're gonna be. I can sit on the floor with you. <laughs> So sad we've sold everything we own <laughs> it's gonna be a almost like a camping experience for the next Sunday Monday only two oh my god we only have two nights left Tom I feel like I have loads to do all of a sudden um so yeah this is our current situation we have we had a guy come this morning and basically pick up the rest of our belongings. So, um, like apartment belongings. So the only thing left to go is the sofa. Sorry, I haven't even introed this video. I'm just gonna be taking you through today, which is Sunday, tomorrow, which is Monday. And then we move out on Tuesday and fly on Wednesday. So after this, the next video you see is gonna be like a travel vlog. I'm gonna be us in New Zealand. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have finished my job now. My last day was on Friday, which was really nice. Say goodbye to everyone. And then yesterday we went out for dinner and drinks with our friends and say goodbye to them. So this is the situation that we're in at the moment. We went out today. We went out to, um, went out for like a final breakfast in Bondi, which was nice. Sorry, Tom's got the TV on. But we also went out and purchased two new suitcases because ours are like broken and this is the situation that we've got at the moment um <laughs> tv on the floor all of our possessions are scattered everywhere this is the old suitcase that i need to throw away it might have survived another trip but as you can see here the wheel was starting to crack and i just I just didn't. Oh, I didn't want to risk it. So this is <laughs> our only possession left is the sofa, which is going in the morning. All of the I had to take all the food out of the fridge, so it's all gonna like basically go off, so I have to throw that all away. And then this is the big box that we are sending back to the UK. It costs 30 it weighs 30 kilometers it weighs 30 kilograms and it costs us 450 dollars in the end so expensive couldn't find honestly couldn't find a company that were cheaper than that um and at least the company that we've been that we went with we've used before and they give you like a tracking code and everything and it literally gets to your house within three or four days so that's like the silver lining but yeah so for the rest of today I actually need to go, we've just come from the junction, by Bondi Junction, buying those suitcases. I actually need to go back in to go to office works. We need to get some like proper like gaffer tape for the box. Cause we've got like, Tom brought one that was like, we thought would be strong enough, but it's just not, we, like we need like that rubbery, like waterproof one that won't come off in case it gets wet. Uh, so I need to go back into office works. I need to print off all the paperwork and like attach it to the box because it's like going to go through customs and stuff and it gets scanned so you have to like declare everything that's in it it's a very long process um and then just start like clearing and packing to be honest just yeah packing so we don't have to do it last minute I'd quite like to have most things packed and then um you know be able to spend the last couple of days like just doing little bits and bobs rather than running around stressing um so that's what i'm gonna get on with today honestly i'm honestly so excited for bali we're thinking about staying longer than 10 days and just like not booking a flight home yet and just sort of seeing when we get there like if we want to do two weeks or whatever um but yeah we will definitely be home in the uk um in june i don't know if it'll be like the beginning of june or the end of june uh, so yeah, enjoy the last couple of days in Australia with me. <laughs> this is so funny, I don't know where to put you guys. It's so hard when I have quite literally nowhere to even sit myself. Good morning guys, it is Monday today, the day of action. <laughs> As you can see, I'm sitting on my little mattress on the floor. 
Um, oh, just gonna do my eyebrows and my mascara whilst I chat to you. I slept with a hair mask in last night and I've got the biggest kink in my neck. But I thought, usually I try and, and I, I, I used to be so good at sticking to this. Usually I slept with a hair mask in once a week, like every like Saturday or Sunday night. But I've been so bad with it recently and I'm at the end of my tub so it's fine. I just used it and I was like, okay, because I'm not going to be able to be able to do that for the next five weeks. So, but, so today I was attempting to package up the big box that's getting sent back to the UK because I'm so worried, like, it's 30 kg and it's just in, like, a large packing box. And it does say to use, um, like, sellotape, like, packing tape all the way around it, like, not just on the seals, like, you've got to go, like, all the way around it all the way on top, all along the edges. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I've contacted the company that we've used to get a rough ETA and apparently it's getting picked up between one and three. The sofa is getting picked up at 12. I'm just really worried about two things. Number one is that the box is gonna break like en route back home. And then number two, I'm not going to be able to fit in, fit all of my clothes into my case that can't fit into my box, into the box that we're sending back. We had a guy come yesterday and pick up like basically everything, like the bed, the fridge. And he's left some of it in our car parking space, which is fine. Like he, he's given me the money. Um, and then there was like a storm last night and you've left a lovely Ikea chest of drawers outside. Like if that, if it's ruined now, that's on you, unfortunately, like. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go get a coffee and then I'll show you the box situation and, um, and we've got a pack. They give you a rough ETA, they basically said they can't give you a rough ETA and I contacted them this morning and I was like, look, nine to five, like I can't stay in all day, like I'm moving countries, please. And they were like, okay, cool, we'll contact the courier. So now the rough pickup time is one to three, which is good. So I was like, Tom, go out, live your life. <laughs> like. Take your morning, it's nice and sunny, go to the beach. Like This is our last few days. It's pointless us both staying in waiting for, a, um, waiting for a box to be collected. So he's out living his best life, which is good. And I will do that this afternoon. Oh, okay, I'm home with my coffee. I actually slept with a hair mask in last night. Did I just say this? I'm literally losing my mind. And I honestly feel like I can not turn my neck further than this. Oh. I don't know why. Like maybe it was like the weight of my hair in a bun. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I'm so overwhelmed with the amount of people that are coming to collect, collect all random things. This sofa is getting collected at 12. So I think I've got like an hour before that goes because I need to like plump it up and stuff. This one here. This lamp is getting collected <coughs> tonight. I've got a random snorkel being collected. I've got a lot of our cutlery and like Tupperwares and um, plates being collected. I think that's all tonight. I'm pretty sure the only thing today, the only thing this morning is the thingy, but let me show you the mess. This is what I'm dealing with. Carry on, shall we? Let me scotch tape is behind you. Cheers. into taping it up and my worry is that when it gets there they scan it and they want to open it and then they have to tape it back up themselves my neck okay guys um sofa has gone 
little bits and bobs we've got, we've got a couple more people coming today. We look, we're looking better and I'm currently sat on the sofa, on the sofa, on the floor eating some abo and eggs. Um, because I haven't eaten yet today and I'm starving. And watching the office on the floor. Perfect. Perfect. I need to be fully, we need to be fully packed by tonight because we've got our end of lease clean tomorrow. Mmm. Box is completely taped up to the high heavens, so I hope it's okay. And that is coming between one and three, so well, that's good. Like any time now, basically. Fingers crossed it seems we can like go out. Okay, guys, this is the bedroom sitch. I am fully packed. Unfortunately, I can't actually fit anything more into my suitcase, and I'm underweight. I'm 25, but I literally can't fit anything else in before it explodes. Tom's got a better suitcase than me. His like expands a little bit. But look, look how sad this is. Look at us. Um, we are gonna go for some food now because I've not left the house all day because the DHL driver has only just come to pick up the bags. A uh, big box that we're sending back home. Literally, it could have been any time between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And he shows up at 10 to 5. Of course he does. Of okay. course he does. Yeah, but like the general, the general time they gave was 9 and 5. Um, so all of this is going to the um, charity shop tomorrow. We're going to take that to the charity shop. The TV's getting picked up. Just giving that away because it's, it's not an alright TV, but it's quite small. And then um, this is. My suitcase fully packed and yeah, so the plan of action for tonight, food, yochi for the final time, which we love. And then tomorrow we will get up. Um, I really need to go to the bank. Um, so we'll get up in the morning, take things to the charity shop and let the end of lease cleaners in and do their thing. And then head to the probably the airport, the, the um, hotel that I booked, just the Sydney like airport hotel, I don't know. Um, maybe at like three or four, maybe four. Um, and then the rest of the vlog will be a travel vlog with me. But honestly, I'm really stressed out because I don't, I think I'm not gonna be over my weight, but I physically cannot fit anything else in. But I'm just gonna have to deal with it when I get there, I suppose. Hopefully Tom can squeeze more bits in for me. Um, but yeah, let's go get some food and get some dessert in the city for the last time. Final one. I forgot to ed ed uh, to like finish this video. We are now in the tra <laughs> the I've ibis ibis oh, travel yes. lodge. To be honest, I probably should have booked a less depressing hotel for our last night in Sydney because it. I'm gonna be honest. It strongly reminded me of my u of not my university room because mine was quite nice, but of like a university room. So yeah, definitely just gonna go to sleep asap. Tomorrow morning we have to get up at, we have to be at the airport three hours early, so five, two, We have to get up at like 4 a.m. So I will see you in next week's video, which will be a travel vlog to New Zealand.